What's going on, everybody? Damo Senpai here, and it's crazy. I thought this was gonna be the episode where we got a complete break, right? I thought this was gonna be the episode where we got a complete break. I thought we were gonna have just, you know, Falanya doing Falanya shit. We were just gonna delegate and be like, yo, we not gonna do this about the war. We not gonna do that. We just gonna relax today. But Falanya did her thing, bro. She stepped up. I'm like, oh, it's like it's like seeing your your own little sister like do some cool shit, bro. You had it was a like a proud big brother moment for a lot of us watching this shit because, bro, you didn't expect that. On top of that, I knew that Wayne wasn't gonna let little sister go by herself. Obviously, we sent the assassin and Ninum there, but we knew he was gonna end up going there with her. It was a given, bro. It was a given that he was gonna be there and. Ninum then on top of that, I did not know that Loa's brothers, well, the oldest brother, uh, Demetrio, if that's what his name is, I think his name is Demetrio. Granted, I can't say I didn't know he was gonna be on some weird shit because everyone who looks like him be on some weird shit. We've seen this in multiple, 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 multiple anime do this, right? Like they're always on some super duper cringy ass weird shit. And bro, I thought I thought Ninim was gonna try to smoke the older brother, right? I thought Ninim was gonna try to smoke Demetrio. And then here come Wayne busting through. Like, what's happening? Y'all thought I wasn't gonna be here, but it is I. He was on some Dio shit, <laughs> right? He was on some Dio shit. But let me let me go in order real quick because this is important for story purposes. So obviously, we started off the episode delegating, and you got Loa telling the mayor, like, look, oh, here comes the Natrin people. I'm gonna hand handle this don't worry about it because it'll look bad on me if i don't say nothing so as she's running down the stairs she's telling her assistant man you know this is all a part of my harebrained scheme wait till you see the look on wayne's face she gets down there she's like doing her little introduction getting shit ready so she can see the look on his face and enter Flanya. It was pretty sick, right? Flanya was like, yeah, you know, I came here in my brother's stand and we got the backstory. And this shit killed me because Flanya definitely misread the situation. It's like a, you know, a little flashback sequence. We're back in Natra. They're telling Wayne, yeah, bro, you either got to stay here and delegate shit because it's post-war and you know how people are post-war. And then you got the other side of the faction that's just like, yeah, bro, we need you to go there. It would look bad on us if you don't go. And then he's looking at Flanya and he's trying to like, you know, use telepathy to tell tell flying you like no you ain't been able to spend time with me so i'm gonna make sure i deviate away from this so we can kick it right so i can so we can have brother sister time because like i said we don't get to see each other often and i've been away for a while Falanya took that as i gotta do something my brother's always doing stuff out here i gotta do something and she just stands up and is like i'll go wayne obviously troubled by that because he's just like this is definitely not what i had planned so flying gets to the the little ballroom area gets introduced to the brothers who the younger two are cool right but you can tell that they're trying to win Falanya's favor so that way they can have like Natra back them so that way when things get towards like the coronation of who's gonna succeed the throne like they could have more favor and stuff like that you've seen it coming and then you have this dickhead Demetrio just like why would Wayne send his little sister send a little girl here to delegate for him blah 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 being a dickhead right and as they're trying to win her favor and then i was like all right let's bounce you know we gotta we gotta make a move because you see what they're trying to do and Flanya ends up taking Loa's side, which makes sense because obviously everyone knows that word was going around that Loa was going to end up getting married to Wayne. But we all know that's not going to play out the way we think it's going to play out unless they pull a how a realist hero rebuilt the kingdom and have him not only marry Loa, but marry Ninim as well. And this, that, and the third. That's the only way I can see this actually happening. If you want to have like a successful harem, right? Like a successful harem comedy adventure, whatever the fuck this shit's called that's about the only way you could do that but aside from that loa ends up dragging ninim outside right like not necessarily dragging her outside but giving her like the look of like y'all need you to come out here loa initiates the conversation like look so i got a deal you get Falanya to back me and i'll give you the summit basically this is summing it all up because it's a lot of conversation that happened and ninim was like i'll just give you what wayne said verbatim nah i don't need your help i don't want a deal obviously that's something that Wayne would say. Here comes Demetrio with this weird ass scheme like if I if I just so happen to get my hands on the Nachin Prince
third test and I'll have to make Wayne do my bidding. Type shit, right? It, it, it's just a terrible idea. So we get to the point where Loa and Ninim are having a conversation in a room and here comes this maid and she's just like, Lady Ninim, I have a problem. I gotta tell you this. And then she whispers in her ear. Next thing you know, we end up in Demetrio's room, right? And he starts spewing this nonsense like, yo, how about you take my hand in marriage, this, that, and the third. And everybody's in shock, right? Everybody's in shock, except for Flanya, bro, because Flanya ends up putting her foot down like, I don't think this would be a good idea for a lady as young as me to make these type of decisions on my own. And then everybody's shocked because like, whoa, this is Flanya? How? This goes back to her seeing the guy who was a comic you know everybody was having a discussion about their qualms and you know just having a civil like discussing civil affairs and she realized like maybe i could stand up too and she was watching the small guy this goes back to the ballroom dance too with the small guy surrounded by all those people and learning about body language and just how to you know grasp people's attention and hold on to people's attention and as demetrio starts to try to get even weirder right in comes the goat in comes the goat wayne pulls up in wayne type fashion like hold on hold your horses like i said bro he, it was very dos like did you forget about me because i'm wayne it was it was it was pretty dope right it was pretty dope so i can't wait to see what happens in the next episode right i can't wait to see how wayne flips this on everyone's head i think it's gonna be pretty dope in the comment section make sure you let me know if you guys felt the same way let me know if you guys disliked this episode let me know if your thoughts were in the same field as mine and as always it's your boy damo senpai and i will see you guys in the next video